Well, new tonight after a chemical leak earlier this week, authorities warning people not to eat fish out of Fishing Creek and now the Oconee River. That's because chemicals from a Milledgeville factory leaked into Fishing Creek this week after a factory caught on fire. The Jimmer Schwartz plant creates chemical products used in leather, ceramics, fibers, textiles and cosmetics. Our Ashlyn Webb went to Milledgeville today and talked to people who live near that area who have major concerns. Crews worked throughout the day to clean up after a chemical fire, shoveling up debris and pressure washing at the Zimmer and Schwartz plant in Milledgeville. But what crews can't clean up as soon is what the fire caused at the nearby Fishing Creek. Georgia EPD says chemicals from the Zimmer and Schwartz fire cause a fish kill in the creek, a common concern in the community. The potential damage is pretty concerning, you know, can, um, can't really consume these fish anymore. In the bottom, you know, the killing of the fish and, and, and ain't no telling what else. Gary Andrews has lived near Fishing Creek for over 70 years. He says he's never seen anything like this. I hope they get it cleaned up, you know, and, and I hope it don't go into the Oconee River. Something several residents have expressed. Baldwin EMA Director Wayne Johnson says the EPD is also advising people to not eat fish out of the Oconee River since Fishing Creek flows into it. You see the rate of flow here, like it's moving. And, yeah. Uh, and yeah, all these rivers connect. Kara Schreg and Morgan Sipka were out at the Oconee River studying sturgeon on Saturday with the University of Georgia's Forestry School. I haven't spent much time here, but we've seen like five people fishing. They said they hadn't heard about the chemicals being in Fishing Creek, but were curious about what's in the water. Fettel C810-4 lubricant, definitely not good. Glycol <laughs> ether, a solvent, also probably not good. Sorbitanum monolaurate and sorbitan mono oleate food additives. I mean, I don't know what those chemicals specifically are, but anything with a name that long, I feel like you probably shouldn't. Moving forward, some residents have expressed they want the plant to help get the creek back to what it was. I hope that they acknowledge their responsibility in the situation and try to um, do as much as they can to fix it. Katie Bergen, the plant's environment, health and safety manager, referred to this statement on cleanup efforts. Damage to plants and buildings as well as potential contamination due to leakage of extinguishing water or product are currently being examined. A hazmat team that has been called to the scene supports decontamination measures and the cleaning of the laboratories. The cause of the fire is still unclear and being investigated. Zimmer and Schwartz said in the release they are cooperating with authorities.